I'm here with Monia Gerard, who earlier this week announced she was going to forgo the 2014 ANZ Championship season to uh, go for that Olympic dream. For those who may not know about this Olympic dream, how long have you fostered it for and when did you make the decision? Uh, it's, it's been, I guess, a long time coming. I've mentioned it a few times now and uh, I've had it in the back of my head for if maybe a year or two. Um, but in terms of the actual decision and making that next step, um, it was only a couple of months ago that I actually had to really put it in consideration and, uh, and I guess it's, it was all about the timing for me as well. About the timing, why now? Well, I see it um, come 2014, there'll be three more years till the Rio Olympics in 2016 and if I was to, you know, be any good or give myself a good chance, I, I see three years or at least four um, a, good, a good chance for me to have a crack at it. So just putting any rumours to rest, this is not retirement for Monia Gerard. Definitely not. Uh, that R word doesn't sit right with me and I still have that white line fever um, burning bright, which you probably already know. And, um, yeah, I, I'm just giving myself this, this little break just to see how I go and, and just see if I'm actually, you know, worthwhile uh, pursuing it. And, and I guess you just never know if you don't have a crack and that's what I'm all about. But in saying that, um, I like to think that I still have a chance with the netball world somewhere. You've been around... New South Wales netball for a long time at the elite level. Sandpipers, the Sydney Swifts, the New South Wales Swifts. What does being a Swift mean to you? Uh, yeah, it's, I guess me being in the system within the New South Wales, um, I'm, I'm born blue. I'm, I'm born blue and obviously the red is a bit of a Waratah colour, but um, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's within me. And being in New South Wales, um, Welshman, um, I don't think of anything else but being a New South Wales netballer or New South Wales representative. Um, and what that means to me is passion, heart and team-like. Um, I had another word in there in my head, but, you know, as a Swift, we've been known for our, um, I guess, our winning ways. And that's definitely something that we need to improve on this year and, and for the um, next years to come. But... Uh, in saying that, there's there's pride that go, that links with being a Swift, and it def, it definitely runs deep. Well, it's your last game before taking a break on Monday night against the Tactics. It's the last ever game of netball for Nessa Ware. You've played with her for a long time. What does Ness mean to you and to the Swifts um, as a player and a person? Yes, it is Ness's moment. Um, definitely, she's. Been around the traps for a while and um, on the court, she's just one of those players that you, no one really sees and it's a good thing because she's, that's the type of player she's, she is. Um, she's a real humble type um, personality and she'll just go about her business um, whichever way that is and on the court, she's not all about being fancy and she just wants to get the job right for the team and, and that's what she's all about and, and that's what the Swifts are about too. So she totally fits that mould when it comes to being a, a New South Wales netballer as well as a Swift and um, yeah, not having her around is, is going to be a bit different. For those Swifts fans who can't be there on Monday night in person, do you have a message for them for the support they've shown you and the team this year and also before you just have your little break? Yeah, uh, to all the supporters out there wide and far, the family community of New South Wales. Just want to say thank you and also thank you for the loyal support that you've shown us this year. It's been a rough trot for us, um, not just for this year, but then also the last couple of years. And knowing that having the support base that you guys give us and um, every time we hit the court or every time um, you know, we have those close clashes, uh, we know that we've got you on our side. So even though there's 12 players out there on the court, there's always that 13 and, um, and you guys are the lucky number. Thanks.